Welcome everybody. Looks like I bought a little Vifly product, didn't I? Well, just wanted to show it to everybody. Um, this is the little Vifly Whoop series board. My lighting's a little bad here. I'm out camping in the RV today, so. Anyway, uh, I was using the Flying Sandal uh, series board and it took a dive on me and fried the the second battery port it just completely quit working I took it apart and it looks like in the back it just finally burned out uh, nothing went wrong with any of my batteries or I didn't put them in backwards or nothing like that it just finally went <laughs> too much usage I guess <laughs> anyway uh, so I, I looked around and uh, this one was only 16 bucks. You can get them on Amazon or all over. Uh, and uh, it's a nice little series board. Everybody that uh, commented on it said it, it was really decent. So I thought I'd give it a try. Comes this nice little box, a little thank you card, and a little instruction sheet. But uh, it, it does. BT 2.0 MPH, so that's kind of handy. Only, only the size of my finger, so my index finger, so that's not too bad. Easy to pack with you. Um, I just I use one of these a lot because I don't want to carry another charger with me if I uh, go and fly somewhere else. And uh, you know, I just plug this into my my big Hoda charger and do do the little batteries there uh, so I'll be giving it a good jelly test run this weekend and uh, see how it goes uh, the one thing I see that might be a failure point would be just this little switch it depends on how how often you set it for uh, different packs you know you go to one pack to six I might just crank it to six and just charge six at a time all the time, but uh, sometimes I'm in a pinch for time and I still want to fly one of the little 1S uh, quads I got, so I'll just charge three packs and go out, you know, 15 minutes and burn them up and uh, have some fun. But I uh, thought I'd show this to everybody uh, before I started using it. XT60 there in your balance lead. Otherwise, looks pretty decently built so we'll see how long this one lasts and uh, like I said I'm gonna be flying here uh, today or tomorrow uh, rip one of the little 1s ones around and so we'll see how this does and I'll uh, do a little follow-up let everybody know uh, I just if you if you don't like to buy a separate 1s charger this is definitely a, a good way to go uh, the the flying sandal one was what I liked uh, because I, I could just throw it in the bag with everything else and just one charger. But sometimes if you're wanting to charge a bunch of different size packs, then that can be a little bit of a, a downer because one of these will take up one port, charging port on your, your big charger. So it may not be the greatest for everybody, but <clears throat> I like that it gives me flexibility in charging. And uh, most of those 1S chargers that we used to buy wouldn't storage charge or things like that. And so I, I like that I can uh, storage charge and everything through these little series boards. You can with the flying sandal also. Uh, just depends on your, your charger that you're using it with. But I like that option too. You know, just because we have little 1S, you should put them in storage also. Don't, don't leave them at funky voltages. And make them die so that's it for this little video and showing this little thing off so like I said I'll post a, another video let everybody know how it worked and everything so everybody out there in RC doing what you like to do don't let anybody stop you keep doing it don't bend over and you know do things for certain agencies that are ridiculous just do your own thing and enjoy it See ya.